Vastness by Tennyson, read for LibriVox.org by Mindy H. Many a hearth upon our dark globe sighs after many a vanished face. Many a planet by many a sun may roll with the dust of a vanished race. Raving politics never at rest as this poor earth's pale history runs. What is it all but a trouble of ants in the gleam of a million, million of suns? Lies upon this side, lies upon that side, truthless violence mourned by the wise, thousands of voices drowning his own in a popular torrent of lies upon lies. Stately purposes, valor in battle, glorious annals of army and fleet, death for the right cause, death for the wrong cause, trumpets of victory, groans of defeat. Innocence seethed in her mother's milk, and charity setting the martyr aflame, thraldom who walks with the banner of freedom, and wrecks not to ruin a realm in her name. Faith at her zenith, were all but lost in the gloom of doubts that darken the schools. Craft with a bunch of all heel in her hand, followed up by her vasal legion of fools. Trade flying over a thousand seas with her spice and her vintage, her silk and her corn. Desolate offing, sailorless harbors, famishing populace, wharves forlorn. Star of the morning, hope in the sunrise, gloom of the evening, life at a close. Pleasure who flaunts on her wide down way with her flying robe and her poisoned rose. Pain that has crawled from the corpse of pleasure, a worm which writhes all day and at night, stirs up again in the heart of the sleeper and stings him back to the curse of the light. Wealth with his wines and his wedded harlots, honest poverty, bare to the bone, opulent avarice, lean as poverty, flattery gilding the rift in a throne. Fame blowing out from her golden trumpet, a jubilant challenge to time and to fate. Slander, her shadow, sewing the nettle on all the laurelled graves of the great. Love for the maiden crowned with marriage, no regrets for aught that has been. Household happiness, gracious children, debtless competence, golden mean. National hatreds of whole generations, and pygmy spites of the village spire. Vows that will last to the last death ruckle, and vows that are snapped in a moment of fire. He that has lived for the lust of the minute, and died in the doing it, flesh without mind. He that has nailed all flesh to the cross, till self died out in the love of his kind. Spring and summer and autumn and winter, and all these old revolutions of earth, all new old revolutions of empire, change of the tide, what is all of it worth? What the philosophies, all of the sciences, poesy, varying voices of prayer, all that is noblest, all that is basest, all that is filthy with all that is fair? What is it all if we all of us end but in being our own corpse coffins at last? Swallowed in vastness, lost in silence, Drowned in the deeps of a meaningless past. What but a murmur of gnats in the gloom, Or a moment's anger of bees in their hive? Peace, let it be, for I loved him, And love him forever. The dead are not dead, but alive. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.